Hello everyone. In this video, I'll describe the differences in indirect laryngoscopy and direct laryngoscopy. So laryngeal examination is required when patients present with the sim laryngeal symptoms like uh, change of voice, hoarseness of voice, even throat pain, difficulty in breathing or stridor. So we need to examine the larynx. Now larynx can be examined uh, by two ways, either indirectly or directly. So indirectly means that uh, we are looking into the image of the larynx either in a mirror that is indirect laryngeal mirror or on a monitor uh, through a fiber optic scope like 70 degree or 90 degree. So we are not directly looking into the larynx but we are uh, looking into the image. We are seeing the image of the larynx. While in direct laryngoscopy we are inserting the scope laryngeal scope through the oral cavity and directly we are looking into the larynx. So there are some differences in these two procedures and I'll be describing those differences uh, in this video. So indirect laryngeal examination is done as a routine OPD procedure. While for direct laryngoscopy the patient needs to be admitted and this procedure is done in operation theater. Indirect laryngeal examination can be done under topical anesthesia by uh, spraying uh, lignocaine 10% into the oral cavity and pharynx which will anesthetize the local area and then uh, examination can be done. While direct laryngeal examination requires general, general anesthesia. The vocal cords are seen as a foreshortened in AP diameter in indirect laryngeal examination that is they seem to be a bit shortened than they actually are while there is no such thing in direct laryngeal examination the, the vocal cords are seen uh, in their actual length. Now ventricle is the area between the true and the false vocal cords. Now indirect laryngeal examination the true and the false vocal cords they appear to be in contact that is there is no depth perception. So we cannot see the ventricle in indirect laryngeal examination while in direct laryngeal examination the uh, true and the false vocal cords they are they appear to be separated by a space called ventricle. Then the image in indirect laryngeal examination is inverted. Inverted means uh, when we see the larynx in a mirror that is indirectly then the right side vocal cord is actually the left side of the patient. So there is right left inversion of the image in indirect laryngeal examination while there is no such thing in direct laryngeal examination. The right uh, vocal cord is seen on the right side only. Then the depth perception, uh, it is not, uh, per the depth is not perceived in indirect laryngeal examination. So the vocal cords, they look flat. That is only the two, dimensionally, uh, two dimensions are seen and the free med with free medial margin. While in direct laryngeal examination, the vocal cord are seen as 3D structures. That is, they appear round in shape. The movements of the vocal cord, they are better appreciated on indirect laryngeal examination. While because direct laryngeal examination is done under general anesthesia and the muscles are paralyzed, so the vocal cord movements can not be seen in direct laryngeal examination. So this is an advantage of ideal examination. That is, vocal cords movements are seen. The under surface of the vocal cord cannot be seen or examined with indirect laryngeal examination but in during direct laryngeal examination by pressing the vocal cord of the opposite side the under surface of the vocal cords can be seen. Generally the indirect laryngeal examination is done in adults who are cooperative as OPD procedure while direct laryngeal examination is uh, required for children because uh, they will not allow the indirect laryngeal examination and also patients who are not cooperative. So in uncooperative patients and children, direct laryngeal examination is needed. To do the indirect laryngeal examination, we need this mirror. This is called indirect laryngeal mirror and we see the uh, vocal cords in this mirror. Uh, alternatively, we can also see the vocal cords by doing the uh, scopy that is 70 degree scopy or 90 degree scopy and the, the image of the vocal cord seen is seen on the monitor. 
while for direct laryngeal examination we require a direct laryngoscope so these are some of the key differences between direct and indirect laryngeal examination thank you